My mom liked to make this. I put two cups of flour. I always work with bread flour because that's what I like. Then I am adding one vanilla sugar, but you can add the vanilla if you have, but I even add a little bit from this. Give you an extra good flavor. Then I add a pinch of salt because every baking needs salt. And I mix the dry ingredients and I will add one and a half tablespoon of dry yeast. Mix it well. And because I don't have powder sugar handy right now, I will add half a cup of sugar. I would make it with the powder sugar, but this is works perfectly too. So I mix well the dry ingredients, then I add the egg yolk, adding a half a lemon and a half a uh, orange peel, because this will give me an extra good flavor, and I am mixing, uh, mixing this. I mix this a little bit here, and then I will put it in the big mixer. I just want to show you. Then I will add the melted butter, and I will go to the mixer, and I will show you. And now I am adding a half a cup of warm milk. It formed a very soft ball. It's done and I can take it out. Pour a little oil, not much. Because this will be easier to do my rolling. Okay, I will make it. I try to show you everything um, easy. So basically I will cut in three pieces but you can make so many kind of braids. Okay, let me roll this first for just roll it out. Start from the middle. My videos is for beginners. So roll it out. Roll all the three. The same length, put one here, one here. I tried the four one, but it's working for me better than the row of four. Okay, I will stick these three together. Take one, just like you're braiding. Just braiding. That's the easiest, and then you can learn the other ones. And when you get here, let me just mush this together a little bit. When you get here, then you just push it down and roll it under. And this is it. And you, you have your basic dough. And you can even roll it a little bit like this. Like that, and here is your collage or the basic sweet though the egg twisted row here. So it wasn't that hard this way, but if I tried the other one, didn't work out to me that much, but this is one way. So now I just cover it and I put it in a warm place and wait until it doubles in size. But this is my first, first one. So now I just put the egg wash on it and I wait until the eggs dry and then I put it my oven for 350. Let's hope it stays good, at least you have the recipe and then you can just make it. Right now I turn my oven on for 350 and this is the second pasting. Sorry guys but I have a skylight and it's always changing the lights. I can even fix it on the video, so sorry. And now I wait again a little bit until it's dry. Dries and we will see. And this is my first one. So I 
will show you the first and then I will show you the second one. I hope it's the braiding will turn out better. I know I have to practice a little more, but it's my first. I can't wait to taste it. Delicious. So I, I will write down the recipe. It's delicious. And this you can make for Easter, or basically you have the recipe, you can make it any time you want. But always try things, because you never know which one you like or which one is working for you. So here is my first collage. Hungarian, you can call it egg twisted bread or basic sweet roll bread. We call it collage. This is finished. I tasted it. It's really good. So I will write down the recipe and you will get it on the YouTube site. Here is the finished one, uh, first one and the second one. I uh, braid the big one with three rows, the other one with four, but I have to practice with the four. The third one turned out very nice. So start to make it and just practice with the braiding and it's delicious. Thank you.